Can tradition and personal freedom coexist? This question lies at the heart of Itaf Rum's compelling novel, A Woman is No Man. Born in Palestine and raised in Brooklyn, Isre is a young woman caught in the crossfire of cultural expectations and personal desires. Her arranged marriage to Adam, a Palestinian immigrant, takes her to America, a land she has only dreamed of. But it's not the land of opportunity she envisioned. Instead, she finds herself confined to her home, raising her daughters under the watchful eyes of her mother-in-law, Farida. Farida, a woman hardened by life, bears her own scars. She too was a young bride once, her dreams crushed under the weight of tradition and societal norms. She believes in the importance of preserving their culture and traditions, even if it means sacrificing personal happiness. Her belief is so strong that she passes it on to her granddaughters, spreading the seeds of a tradition that values men over women. Fast forward to the year 2008, we meet Dea, Isra's eldest daughter, now 17. She's a young woman standing at the crossroads of tradition and personal freedom, just like her mother once did. She's been raised with the belief that her destiny is to marry young and bear sons. But Dea dreams of a different future, one that includes college and a career. Unraveling the threads of the past, Dea uncovers the tragic truth about her mother's life, a truth that shatters her perception of her family and her culture. This revelation sets her on a path of self-discovery and liberation, a path that challenges the long-held traditions of her community. A Woman is No Man is a poignant exploration of the struggle between tradition and personal freedom. It's a tale that challenges the notion that a woman's worth is defined by her marital status and her ability to bear sons. It's a story that underscores the importance of breaking the cycle of tradition that confines women to predetermined roles. The novel leaves us with a powerful message, that every woman has the right to shape her own destiny, that she is more than a wife, a mother, a daughter. She is her own person, with dreams and aspirations that extend beyond the boundaries of tradition. In conclusion, A Woman is No Man is not just a novel. It's a call to action, a reminder that tradition should not be a cage but a guiding light, and that personal freedom is not a privilege but a right. It's a testament to the resilience of women who dare to break free from the shackles of tradition, who dare to dream, to aspire, to be more than what society expects them to be. The pages of A Woman Is No Man echo with the voices of countless women who have been silenced, their dreams crushed under the weight of tradition. But it also resonates with hope, with the promise of a future where every woman is free to be no man's woman but her own.